In this lesson, using IntelliJ IDEA, we are going to write Java code which will connect to MySQL database. And I have IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition 2024.2 right now opened. I am going to create a Maven project and then step by step, we will write down the code first to connect to the MySQL database and then to print data from a sample table. But before I start writing the code, I want to show you one thing over here. In my local system, MySQL is already installed and here in my MySQL workbench, I have this database called DemoDB. There I have one table, employees and after executing select star from employees, I can see I have three records. So while writing the Java code, first we will connect to the database and then we will print all these records using our application code. Going back to IntelliJ IDEA, click on new project. Naming this as MySQL JDBC sample, location I am keeping it as is. I have already selected one dedicated directory where I keep all the projects. You can also do the same. Build system selecting Maven. JDK I have local Java installed in my system which IntelliJ IDEA has picked up and showing it. In case you have your own JDK and it's not showing the correct one, you can click on this drop down and use this option add JDK from disk so that you can point to your own JDK location. I don't want any sample code, unchecking this under advanced settings. Let me change the group ID, click on create. So the first thing we need to do over here is to add the dependencies, the dependencies for the MySQL JDBC driver. We can go to any search engine like Google and search for MySQL driver Maven dependency. Here it would provide you the Maven repository. MySQL connector Java. For MySQL connector, we have all the Maven dependencies or rather libraries listed over here. I can see this artifact was moved to here. We can go to this location or we can use this one also. Let me go to this particular location. Here I can see the higher version of this Maven libraries are available. My database version is 8.4.0. I can select this. I can take the higher version of the library also. Scroll down. Copy this dependency. If I select this, it is already copied to clipboard. Go back to IntelliJ IDEA. Add the dependencies section. Press enter. Paste the MySQL JDBC driver dependency. Just save it. You can load the Maven changes by clicking on this icon. As it is a Maven project, by default, this load Maven project icon should appear. If it does not appear, you can click on this Maven tool window and you can select this. Reload all Maven projects incrementally. Right now, it is indexing the project and loading the Maven dependencies. Let me minimize this Maven tool window. So the version was highlighted in red earlier. Now it's normal, meaning the dependencies are resolved. Once all the Maven dependencies are taken care of, first thing I'm going to do is to create a very simple code which will only just connect MySQL database. So let me create a new class. I can right click. Let me press Ctrl N or I can just go to Java new package providing the package name mysql jdbc let's create a sample class new java class java connectivity test so here i'm going to explain the code at a high level if you see at the top we have all the necessary jdbc class imports like connection database metadata driver manager etc then you would need three important information your url in this case which is the url to the database not to any specific schema then i have the username which is root and then i have my password so in this case you can put your own password in main i have single method call which is test connection if i go inside test connection first using the driver manager dot get connection with a try with resources we are invoking this method get connection and passing url user password and accordingly we are getting the connection over here if the connection is successful then only the rest of the line would be executed otherwise the exception would be handled then from connection object we are retrieving the database metadata from this database metadata we are trying to get the catalog once we get the catalog from that catalog we are printing the database names and i have additional piece of code which i have commented out where within individual databases you can print all the table names also let me test this out whether it works as per our requirement or not so we can right click and run this or we can use this button click on this run jdbc connectivity 
If I scroll up, the program has executed successfully. It is printing the available databases, demo DB, demo DB2, information schema, performance schema, sys, etc. Now, let me try to uncomment that piece of code to print all the tables within this databases. Uncommenting line number 44, 65 as well. Let's read on this. Now the code has executed successfully. If I just go through the output, let me resize the console a little bit. Table in database demo db is employees, in demo db2 is products. Under information schema, we don't have anything, or MySQL, we don't have anything. Under sys, we have only this sysconfig. So this is executing as per the requirement. So what we have done, we have written the code to establish the connectivity and mainly face the metadata. Like what are the database names? What are the tables under those databases? Now I'm going to write a sample piece of code where we would point to a specific schema or database, a specific table. And from that table, we would fetch the records like this one in MySQL Workbench. I'm pointing to this employees table under demo db and inside employees table, whatever records are there, we will fetch that. Again, going back to IntelliJ, right click, new, Java class, table data printer, press enter. Now, in order to print the records of a table, we have similar kind of code, same kind of imports, like we are importing this connection, driver manager, result sets, etc. Then we have the three connection parameters, URL. The difference being we are pointing to a specific schema here. We are mentioning the demo DB explicitly. Same user, root user, password. Definitely it has to be same. And we have to mention a table name. Instead of users, I can mention my table name over here, employees. And this table name and this table name we are passing to this print table data method. If I do a control click over here, this is my method which takes the table name, formulates a query and creates a query, select star from table name. In this case, select star from employees. Same pattern you can notice over here, this drive with resources, getting the connection from driver manager, get connection, creating a statement. Here we are executing the query with the help of the statement, getting the result set. And once we get the result set, we are getting the result set metadata. From the result set metadata, we are getting the column count. Now we are iterating on top of this so that we can print the column names. So we will have a header where we would print the column names one by one with tabs in between them. And then once all these column names are printed, we are just printing a system.out.println just to move to the next line. Then we are looping through the result set and printing each row of data so that all the columns are already printed earlier. Now we are printing the data. And finally, there is exception handling block also. This is how the overall code is. Let me just run it to show you the output. Right click, run table printer main the program has executed let me resize the console a little bit here you can see the employee id first name last name department salary and the associated records over here so this is how we can write sample gdbc code to connect to mysql database using the intellij idea now one thing over here we can improve our code this is just a rough piece of code to display the records from the database ideally we can close the result set we can close the statement all those improvements we can implement so i'll share this sample piece of code in youtube description in case you found this video useful please like share and comment thanks a lot for your time.